the Bible tells us, teaches us, that God has already made full provision. God has already made full provision for many of the things that we actually need. He's already made the provision. And we, we say it like this, Jesus paid it all. We believe in the cross of Jesus Christ. We believe that Jesus died on the cross. And we sing even hymns that tell us Jesus paid it all. What did he pay for? For all, for everything. Everything that we ever need. Now, we, we can itemize these things and it will just become a long list if we try to it itemize all the things that Jesus paid for. The Bible says all spiritual blessings have already been provided for. So the important thing for us is to understand that the provision has been made. And I want this to sink into your heart. God has already provided for everything we need. So, you know, the, we are not waiting on God to provide for us. We're not waiting on God to do the work of salvation, or to provide salvation or forgiveness of sins or healing. We're not trying to uh, earn these provisions. Uh, we're not trying to convince God to provide. He's already done it. Today, Whatever you need, whether it's healing in your body, healing in your mind, a blessing in your life, maybe you need to live victory, gain victory over some besetting sin that is holding you down. Maybe you've been in bondage for 25 years to that sin, and you are thinking, I'm waiting on God to break my chain. I want you to know, He already broke your chain. It's done. He broke the chain on the cross. What's left for us to receive? That's what's left. So you're not waiting on God to break your chains to set you free from sin. He completed that work on the cross for you. Your chains have been broken. Your sickness has been healed. Provision has been made for shalom in your life and mine. It's done as far as God is concerned. He has blessed you with every spiritual blessing. He has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness. God has provided it for you on the cross. He has blessed you with it. It's already yours. What you and I need to learn is how do we receive what God has provided? And the Bible says, our works will be tested by fire of what sort it is, whether gold, silver, or precious stones, or wood, hay, or stubble. And then each man will receive a reward for his work. So he will receive his reward for his 40 years of faithful service, but healing is not a reward. Healing is a provision of grace. So the first thing for us to receive what God has already provided is to believe God. And we want to learn how to believe God. How do we believe God? So Abraham believed God. So today, for us to receive what God has provided, we have to believe God. Believe God and His Word. Now, John 17, 17 says, Your Word is truth. So that means you and I can believe His Word. Believing His Word is believing God. So believe His Word. Faith is the support. It, it is a, the foundation, the groundwork of things hoped for. But that word is also translated title deed or uh, the certificate of ownership. So faith is the substance, it's the title deed. It's the proof of ownership of things hoped for. So to have faith is to say, I have it. It's the title deed of what you're hoping for. So when you pray, what do you do? Believe that you receive. Believe. So believing is in both places. Whether you're saying or you're praying, you've got to believe. 